and good morning. Welcome back to the HK News, keeping you the latest and the most credible news for today. I'm Asma Sabita with a selection of highlights coming up. Indonesia new virus cases set record as Omicron spreads. In a neutral report, a record number of new variant COVID-19 cases on Tuesday driven by the highly transmissible Omicron variant. The country confirmed 57,049 new infections and more than the previous record of about 56,700, said last July. The Delta variant overwhelmed on the main island of Java. The National COVID-19 Tax Force also reported 134 deaths on Tuesday and more than 100 people have died each day since Friday, mostly in capital Jakarta. Indonesia had recovered from last year's surge, which was among the worst in Southeast Asia, and new daily infection had fallen to about 200 by December. But the cases have been sharply raising again with Omicron arrival. During last year's surge, hospital erected plastic tents as massive intensive care unit and patient to waiting four days before they were available to be admitted. Oxygen tanks were rolled out for those lucky enough to receive them. Health Minister Budi Gunaidin Sadikin said on Monday that the case and death will increase further, but the healthcare system is unlikely to be overwhelmed again since the Omicron variant is generally causes less safer symptoms than Delta. Indonesia confirmed daily death toll at the peak of last year's Delta surge reached 2069. He said the government has education more better to COVID-19 patients ramped out testing and tracing vaccination in all regions because Omicron is now spreading outside of Java. Pedi Kapansi rates at 140 coronavirus referrals for Hospital Jakarta rose from 5% in early January to 60% on Tuesday and more than a half of the bed hospital are allocated to patients in Jakarta, Jakarta and Bali were occupied as of Monday. Indonesia has reported 4.9 million and 145,455 deaths from COVID-19, the actual number I readily believe to be higher. We move to the next topic, Indonesia Depart First, 419 Umrah programs in 2022. Indonesia Directors of Umrah and Special Hajj Nur Arifin together with Deputy Ambassador Saudi Arabia to Indonesia welcomed the departure of the Umrah pilgrims at the Pondok Gede Hajj on Saturday. The conclusion was the part after the government has sent elephants team to try out Umrah during the pandemic. 419 first Umrah pilgrim was departed today using 10 buses from Pondok Kediha to Jakarta Soekarno Hatta Airport. Nur Arifin said that before departing, the Umrah pilgrim were guaranteed one day and one night for health screening. This is to ensure that they are in good condition and free from COVID-19. Health screening is include check health, checking vaccine certificate and PCR is carried out by hospital recommended by Saudi Arabia. This health screening is a standard that must be followed by the Umrah pilgrims in order to receive Umrah without being infected COVID-19. That was the news of truth and accuracy by HK News team. We are helping you in good condition and also helping you have a great day ahead. This is Asma Thavita. Thank you and goodbye.